Hello, this is Warner from Warner.tv. Today I'm going to be answering another question uh, about the G1, the T-Mobile G1. This one came by way of Grant, and he must have saw my other videos uh, about the G1 first impressions. But Grant says, I've been following your videos for a while and just happened to see the G1 up close and personally, finally. But I was hoping to hear about wasn't mentioned much. I was interested in hearing more about instant messaging, G-Talk, etc. For my phone use, email, IMG Talk, and BlackBerry messaging, Messenger is everything. I hardly use the actual voice plan. So my question is, how do these perform on the G1, specifically in the background and connectivity? Ever since getting the iPhone, blah, da, 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 he goes on and on. He says, I'm looking for a great phone that has great multimedia touchscreen, real keyboard, and good IM connectivity. And it seems like the G1 would be a perfect match. Please let me know. Thanks. All right, Grant. Grant, Grant, I am. Now, you've probably been hearing this thing chime, and that's how it's working in the background right now. I have I am set up right now, connected to friend feed, and uh, I put an icon on the desktop for the generic I am applications. You can see it here. It says I am, um, but you can find it in, in, the, in the main menu. It comes installed by default. You don't need to uh, install it, but there are other I am applications out there. There's one called eBuddy that recently came out. You can check that out. But as you can see at the top, on the notification bar, I'm getting all these notifications of instant messagings. And the icon actually shows a little instant messenger icon. It's an IM icon. It looks like a little chat bubble. And it lets you know that the IM is, I mean, that the notification is from IM. And like I said, I love this T-Mobile notification system. You just drag the screen down. And you can see a summary of your notifications. You can see in this case that I'm getting a GTalk a gtalk uh, notification from friendfeed and this is what I set up to test this and once I go into the conversation you can see it's a nice big font let me give it time to focus there there's a nice big font and you can see who's sending what it has the name in front in this case it's just friendfeed and as you get more and more IMs you get more messages this notification system becomes so valuable it becomes very very useful and as you can see the messages are scrolling up they're coming in fast I mean this is a popular or this is a high traffic uh, friend feed bot that I've set up coming via IM so in terms of options when you go into the IM application you can use aim you can use Google talk you probably saw this on the other video uh, you can use Windows Live Messenger if you're into that or Yahoo Messenger. Now you don't need to buy anything for this. This comes with the T-Mobile G1. You can see I got a new message. It popped up. You can customize that sound as well if you want to. But this comes out of the box with the G1 and you don't need to install anything. It comes with Android um, absolutely free. So like I said, it's very easy. Very easy to use. Very easy to set up. You just go in here and you can type aim, aim and you can put in your credentials and then it's there forever. You can do the same for Windows Live Messenger and Yahoo Messenger, but you just drag it down and you can go to right to the notifications and start typing away right here on the T-Mobile G1. It, it's it's a very good way to do IM. I don't know how, how it stacks up to uh, a full-blown BlackBerry Messenger type service because that's, that's re really serious messaging, but I think it comes a close second. I think it's better than the iPhone in terms of IM. Uh, especially with the uh, and the reason I say that because it can run the background. Uh, you got you got great tools. You got you got built-in IM out of the box for number one. And the notification system on top of the multi IM support instantly makes it better than what you get out of the box with the iPhone. I mean, with the iPhone, you basically get nothing. You get SMS, and that's it. You have to go out and buy something. So that makes it a little bit better. So I think if you're looking for a powerful IM capability on the T-Mobile G1 on the Android platform, I think you'll find it on the G1 with the built-in IM client. So Grant, I hope that answers your question or tickles your fancy about how I am operates on the T-Mobile G1 I gave you a little a little uh, taste of what it is but the things you should remember is that you get multi IM client out of the box and the notification system in the background is very very good customizable sounds and it works very well alright this is Buona from Buona.tv and this is the I am on G the T-Mobile G1 platform and how it performs for people looking for I am capability take care